Now a Target 12 investigators exclusive time and punishment. We've learned most defendants that go through federal court here in Providence are receiving lighter sentences than recommended by the U.S. Sentencing Commission. Rhode Island, along with most other New England states, consistently falls below the national average with federal prison sentences. So we wanted to find out why. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what we've learned. The first reaction you might have when you see the numbers is this. Federal judges in Rhode Island go easier on bad guys than their colleagues in most of the country. In a rare television interview, the chief judge of U.S. District Court in Rhode Island says that isn't the case. In 2016, 90 defendants were sentenced here at federal court in Providence. The majority were facing drug-related charges. Stats show most of them, 77 out of the 90, were sentenced to at least some prison time. I think if you ask any judge uh, who s sits on a significant criminal docket, he or she would tell you that sentencing is the hardest thing. Uh, that we do. U.S. District Court Chief Judge William Smith has handed down many sentences since he took the bench in 2002. We're looking at the entire constellation of factors and trying to figure out what's the best, uh, what's the best approach for that crime, that defendant, and that community. A Target 12 review of sentencing data shows federal judges in Rhode Island have given sentences below the U.S. Sentencing Commission's recommended guidelines a majority of the time in recent years. In 2014, 66 percent of defendants received a sentence below the recommended guideline, 76 percent in 2015, and 68 percent in 2016. The national average each of those years was around 50 percent. What do you say to people who think that well, judges I, in this area sure, go easy? I think it's very... I don't think that's true. I think it's very easy for uh, people who are not in the system to look at uh, sentencing as a kind of black and white or two-dimensional kind of uh, kind of thing. The statistics in Rhode Island are similar in other Northeast states, but Judge Smith says he sees a number of reasons as to why, including the types of crimes other regions see that Rhode Island doesn't. A number of those districts have very high levels of methamphetamine cases, and, and under the guidelines, uh, meth drives very high sentences. We don't get a lot of those cases here. Rhode Island also has a unique deferment program for young drug offenders. Defendants are eligible to avoid prison time in exchange for heightened supervision and other treatment services. That's almost 10 percent of our caseload. If they successfully complete that program, uh, they get a no jail or a time served uh, sentence. That's going to affect our statistics. I think all of us uh, in the criminal justice system have, have struggled with this issue. You know, how, how long is necessary? Former U.S. Attorney Peter Norona says he occasionally has heard from those in law enforcement who gripe about shorter sentences. I have a lot of confidence in the federal judges here. They are trying to do the right thing. The fact that we might disagree in a particular case was really not enough for me to lose a lot of sleep over. We have an adversarial system, and that means people are going to disagree, and then the neutral uh, decision maker makes a decision. We covered a lot of ground with Judge Smith. You can watch the entire interview on this weekend's edition of Newsmakers. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.